This is the evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. Of course, uh, excuse me, I had Renee in the picture at first. Got Renee at the Union ER. Oh, no, yeah, by the way, I might be wearing my mall cop uniform, which I'm not a mall cop. Thank you very much. And I would love for you people to stop. Stop. Please stop. Stop with your false accusations and your lies. Because I just go show how stupid you are. Renee's sick, and you have the gall and the cadacity to constantly state things on my Facebook site that isn't true. Renee, right now, is having problems with her leg again. She's uh, had this rash and I've been, of course, itching it and possibly getting cellulitis again. Has this other discoloration on her leg. Of course, granted, you know, she's not running a fever or any of that stuff, but they, they, they said they're probably going to give her a shot of uh, uh, clenomycin, I think that's what she said, and um, sent her home with an a antibiotic as well. Hopefully that works, because what gets me is it happened in the past. They sent her home with an antibiotic, and then a few days later, it swells up even more. It gets blistery, and then she ends up in the hospital. And she took her antibiotics, like prescribed, but they didn't work. Because lots of times, and this is what another doctor had told me, and that's what gets me, um can't remember what the doctor's name was. That Renee, when Renee gets this way, that they have to aggressively, aggressively treat it with IV antibiotics. But no doctor is on the same page. That's a problem. But, you know, if you guys want to, you know, keep on saying what you're saying constantly on my YouTube and Facebook sites, more power to you. Just go to show what kind of person you really are deep down inside. Heartless, careless person that don't care about the truth and what had been told to me and Renee a long time ago by another doctor. Oh, did that doctor, uh, was that doctor wrong? I guess you'd be the judge since you'd like to judge me. And the problem is, you're judging Renee as well. And she really hasn't done nothing to deserve your judgment, except for being sick. So it's your choice. That was earlier today. Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. That was earlier today. I had Renee to the uh, Union Hospital ER in Dover, Ohio. While, while we were there, I had requested that somebody from that's on call from through the pastoral care of the hospital would come in and pray for Renee and talk to us. And this gentleman, this pastor, 
from this church right here, Pastor Lyle Warren from the Midville Newport United Methodist Church. He came and talked to me, Renee. And basically, he understands what Renee's going through because his own brother, he was telling us that his own brother has cellulitis in his arm, in his left arm. And he was in the hospital for 28 days with uh, IV antibiotics. So he knows what Renee is going through. Because his own brother has cellulitis. It lays, dorm it lay lays dormant in under the skin until an infection flares it up again. There's been a lot of comments here lately that... Uh, People have been saying. Like for instance. That the lady from Thailand. She's been commenting again. On my Facebook. Site. She made some comments here. That. Uh, about the food. All I just said was. In the past. The Catholic Church had given out turkeys. It is a custom in the United States of America. On Thanksgiving, people have turkey. Or ha some people have ham. But the majority of people have turkey for Thanksgiving. And they have stuffing. And they have um, sweet potatoes. Some kind of casserole of some sorts. Um... Uh, and what did we have for Thanksgiving? Uh, uh, R.A. cooked ham that was watered down and salty. Some sweet potatoes that we have. Um... I can't remember everything that we did have now. But she goes on in here in her comment here and talks about my job history. She says here, however, records indicate the years of his employment where he paid into the system is far, far less. Now, how would she know? How long I have worked and paid into the system. Unless she has been checking up on my work history. Answer that question. How would she know this to make this statement? Well, you know, I guess the 11 years delivering newspapers with the Times Reporter newspaper in... Uh, New Philly, Dover, Ohio, really didn't count for anything whatsoever in the eyes of a lot of you people who do not understand and don't want to understand that being a paper boy means something. Delivering newspapers means something. But it doesn't mean anything to people from another country who doesn't understand our ways of living here in the United States. You start off small and you work your way up. You don't start off going to college and getting a, a, a degree from a college in New York and going to working for a government right off the bat. 
That isn't how it works. You start small and you work your way up in the United States. You don't start and 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 right at the top and with a high paying job. And being a school bus driver making nine dollars and fifty cents an hour doesn't uh, it, it that doesn't what that according to her uh, and her comment here that that is a uh, a um, where is that here. That she said that. Oh yeah. Short term, low paying jobs. I guess a school bus driver is a short term, low paying job. I wouldn't have been a substitute school bus driver if I wasn't so good. Because... The superintendent of the school bus drivers told me personally, we don't want to lose you as a sub because you are too good of a driver to lose as a sub. Why? Because I was the, basically the only sub that they had at that time that would take and do routes a lot of bus drivers all they want sub bus drivers all they want to do is trips after school trips because they had other jobs besides driving bus i wanted to become a full-time school bus driver but they would not let me because i was too good to lose as a sub that would do routes So I was too good at one thing and not good in something else. As a home health aide, I I worked lots of times two shifts in a row, second shift and a third shift because somebody else did not show up at the client's home, so I had to stay over. And there's something called uh there was something called, uh, I can't re remember how that was called now, but if you worked first shift, you get one amount, you worked uh, second shift, you get another amount, and then you worked third shift, you get another amount. But of course, not every job paid that way. <clears throat> Back when I first started working, Back in the late 80s, the minimum wage was only $5 and, I think it was $5.50 or something like that an hour. $5.50 an hour. That was the minimum wage. Excuse me, you did not get paid any more than minimum wage in the United States of America. Unless you had a degree in something. And you work there long enough. You just don't jump right into a high paying job. But this woman thinks you could just jump right into a high paying job right off the bat. Uh, well, you know, I guess she did because she was already linked with the government there in Thailand by being friends with the princess. And then going to college here in the United States of America. I wonder her paid for her college degree. The government of Thailand or herself. Or how about her, her uh, as she said one time or another, her parents that were farmers in Thailand. I, you know, well... What I'd like to know is if she has my records of my jobs, I want her to tell everybody what job I worked. I 
I want her to tell everybody all the different factories I worked at as well besides the uh, home health the uh, school bus driving and being a security officer what other factories that I had to work in as well when I wasn't driving bus or when I wasn't uh, uh, working as a home health aide what factories did I work in making minimum wage as well factories don't pay uh, anymore unless you're a uh, supervisor and then she goes on complains here about the you know the computer that I talked about that got Renee so she can have a better, faster computer. You be in Renee's shoes. You be sick and in Renee's shoes. The problem is you don't want to walk a mile or a day in her shoes. All you want to do is complain and say, oh, look at him. He's asking for money. He's asking for turkey. He's asking for this. He's uh, I have never told anybody to give up their last single dime and give to me like she's saying. She says here. That uh, he expects those on a pension to give what money they have remaining at the end of the month to him. I have never said that. Never said that. Never said that you got to give up everything you, you have left over to give to me. Never said that. Never said it. And if you say I said it, that's a lie. Another lie coming right out of your mouth. You are doing your will. I mean, you are doing your father's will, and your father is Satan the devil himself. I'm not talking about your earthly father. I'm talking about your God father, Satan the devil. And as, as a matter of fact, yes, we have food in the cupboard. The cupboards up here, all this has is spices, spices, salt, pepper, other spices, and sugar, spices, okay? And then rice, and, and uh, uh, innocent potatoes, and other spices as well. And then over, and then of course canned stuff. We have a lot of green beans and peas and black eyed peas and uh, applesauce and diced tomatoes and and boxes over here of cereal that we don't excuse me, well you can't see cereal and uh, instant uh, sweet potatoes and. Wheat ends that we eat for snacks every now and then, not all the time. Canned stuff. This is canned stuff food. Canned food. Okay, sometimes I will make a uh, uh, fix up. Well, you can't see it there. Ravioli. I'll fix me some ravioli, and Renee will want some uh, tuna. I'll fix her some tuna with uh, mayonnaise. Canned fruit, more corn, corn and peas and green beans, corn, peas and green beans, corn, peas and green beans, pie filling. And then here, just, just box stuff and uh, back some other bag stuff. You can't make a Thanksgiving dinner out of a lot of that stuff. And, and, Thanksgiving 
like I said, in America, traditionally is a turkey, sweet potato, sweet potato casserole, some kind of a casserole, noodles, mashed potatoes, Uh, yeah, I said stu uh, stuffing. I said stuffing earlier. <sighs> Noodles. I mean, that's the traditional Thanksgiving meal. Of course, you don't have ta Thanksgiving in Amer in Thailand. We have it here in America because the pilgrims were basically starving to death. And they were dying from disease. There was only around, I think, 80 or 90 left out of over 400 pilgrims. And if it wasn't because of the uh, Native American Indians at the time, especially one Indian named... Uh, Squanto that God had raised up that was taken to uh, France as a slave raised in a uh, monastery taught English and the Bible God's Word and then uh, sent to England to live with some uh, rich uh, people and then eventually shipped back here to America to find his people all had died off and then accepted in by uh, some other uh, Native American Indians that had been watching the pilgrims from you know afar and then Squanto going and talking to them and uh, showing them how to grow crops and uh, he saved their lives and then they had a big meal and that meal lasted for three days three days it was the first Thanksgiving thanking God for saving their lives, thanking God for bringing Squanto to them, or all the pilgrims who had died off. So yeah, you know, we don't have everything that. We would, you know, like to have. Things could be better for Renee. She, 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 she wishes lots of times she wasn't even born with uh, cerebral palsy. But because her mother had too much water on her, uh, uh, you know, in her uh, belly around Renee at the time because that's what Renee said that's what her mother said that there was she had more too much water on her Renee was born with, with cerebral palsy and there's lots of times Renee wishes she wasn't even born because of how her stepfather you know says all the bad things he says about her. I mean, he, he told me once in an email that Renee beat her uh, ex-husband who was in a wheelchair. And Renee says, that is a lie. He beat her. Her ex-husband beat her. But uh, if you hear his way, <laughs> Renee's worthless.
That's because anybody who doesn't see things and does things the way he sees things and does things to him, they're worthless. If they can't work with their hands, they're worthless. If they can't make their own way in life, they're worthless. And he's the one that started this. Uh, talking bad about me on my uh, Facebook and my uh, YouTube. And then, of course, uh, some other people like the woman from Thailand and and uh, the Hobolts in Michigan have been uh, basically following suit and saying all kinds of bad things about me as well. And as a matter of fact, the Hobart says, well, I should also read uh, some more of Ephesians. Well, how about the part of Ephesians? Also, right after uh, where it talks about not uh, actually before, not after, excuse me. How about before Ephesians uh, 29, where it talks about uh, having no uh, foul or abusive language? How about. Uh, In 11 through uh, 13 how about Ephesians 4 11 through 13 how about take that on for size now these are the gifts Christ gives to the church the Apostles the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and build up the church, the body of Christ. Now it doesn't say that they're supposed to be making lots of money and working hard with their hands. It says what? Build up the church. The body of Christ. We're what supposed to do? Equip God's people to do His work. And build up the church. Doesn't say that uh, we're supposed to uh, make lots of money and... Uh, uh, With our degrees. Doesn't say that we're supposed to make lots of money with our degrees. Doesn't say to make lots of money, period. And what is a prophet? A prophet is somebody that hears straight from the Holy Spirit. Straight from God. And gives a message. But there's a lot of people that want to criticize people like me because they're like, who are you? Well, I know who I am. God bless you. Have a blessed day.